Guys, welcome to a new series of Built Not Bought. Now, I say a new series because we're starting a new build. Now, from the title of this video, a build a car designed by AI. Now, it was kind of AI, but it was kind of a little bit of sketching, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm gonna show it to you now. Think fast. That is what we are building. You're gonna have to go back and pause it if you wanna see any more of that. But I basically got sick and tired of having to build cars for the street where there's so many rules and regulations. This is going to be a piece of art where there's no restrictions, no rules. Build a car that has been in my head since I was a kid. This is what I visioned when I was like six or seven years old and I wanted a big monster truck car with a huge motor. So I thought, why not build one? 40 inch tires, coilovers, handmade chassis, big block 454, supercharger, twin turbo, the list goes on. We're gonna make this thing come to life over the next few episodes in the next few months. So strap in guys, enjoy the build. Oh, but, but, but I have to let you own a little secret. We were waiting on some suspension parts for a long time, which pushed the build back. What you're about to see is over two years old. So I was a little bit skinnier in the face. It was my old workshop in the old shed. So let's wind the clock back a couple of years when we kind of first found the car we're gonna base this thing from. Let's have a look. All right, so I've had a long time to actually think about what I want to get here because I've been looking at cars in the Sunshine Coast for a while and obviously I've only just moved here. So I really wanted something kind of classic muscle. So obviously the last build that I've done with the Patrol had the four-wheel drive side to it, but the engine is really that flavor of muscle that, that I've kind of the roots that I've had growing up. So with this next build, I really wanted to kind of split the thing in half almost and go half muscle car, half four-wheel drive. So what we're gonna go have a look at today is an XC Falcon. So it's a smaller car, but it's sort of a classic, I think it's like a 60s, 70s model. Um, so we're gonna go suss it out, see if it looks good. It's nice and cheap. Obviously we don't need something licensed for this build and see what, uh, what sort of condition it's in. Hopefully take it home on the trailer as well. A few moments later. What's um? Good. What sort of history on it? Do you know much about it? Or we acquired it probably seven years ago in yeah. Emerald. Yeah. As to fix it. Yeah. And that's where it lived, lived yeah, okay. for seven years probably. probably. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So other than that, we don't know where it come from. Had a bit of grass going around. It's been here for a while. Yeah. It's been here. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's been here for probably two years, I think. I don't think it runs, eh? No. <laughs> maybe once. The floor's actually not that bad, eh? No. I was looking at it before. It's I was like expecting it's not full holes. Of holes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like Swiss cheese. Yeah. That doesn't work. Yep. The boot doesn't open. Boot doesn't open. Perfect. Yep. Look at that badge. It's like in good condition. Everything around it's rusty. Yeah. I almost want to leave that patina look, eh? And not even it does look good. fix the paint. Yep. Yeah, yeah that's right. That. All the badges look good. <laughs> so, was he chasing two and a half for it? Yeah, two and a half. But yeah, right. Offers, obviously. So. Offers. What do you say? Two grand today. We'll take it home. I could probably let it go for that. Yeah. It's better than me looking at it for another year. Yeah. All right. Done deal. Yeah, Let's hook yours. it up. We'll load her up. Sweet. Almost. I need a D shackle. This isn't tiny. What a fucking useless hook. They're good if you know what to do with them. Oh yeah, so it's a chain hook. Yeah. Never used one before. Lucky I brought you along. sound i can't believe i'm giving it away it is my personal 80 series the van cruiser if you want to win it jump down below grab an entry in the link Radio legends we have uh last week's or a couple weeks ago giveaway to deal with and we've got a new one for this week as well so this is to draw the winner of the Max Tracks recovery kit. Pretty sweet prize this one. So let's have a look. You just have to drop a comment in one of the last videos and the winner is 
Tom Shaw should cut the ass off and put a flat deck on it. So I was telling you what we should do with that build. Now, what we're gonna do this week, we've got a ton of pit vipers still. You can get some flip flops, bloody hang downs, premium eyewear, you got the classics, you got the Habanas, you've got all sorts, pit viper 2000. So basically all you do, comment down below. We're talking about this build this week. What do you reckon about the new build? And tell me what you think I'm building it for. What's it gonna be used for? And I'll be picking a winner in the comments at random to win a set of pit vipers. I'll basically send you what we've got left and you can pick the one that you wanna take home with you. So, good luck with the giveaway and we'll see you next week. So I'm not even really sure what this is. I think it's a 1977 or 76 XC Falcon. And I know what you're thinking, why Sam, a classic car? But that's what I wanna do with this series. It's, it's a bit of a blend between classic and off-roading. You can probably guess what I'm gonna start doing, but pretty much draw a line down the middle and it might give you half a chance. So, first things first with this, we've gotta strip this thing down pretty much to a bare cab. And then we're gonna start doing what we're gonna to do to this build. I'm super excited about this one. And don't you worry, there's gonna be a big badass motor in this. I'll promise you that much. All right, we're making some progress now. It's time to pull the engine out. Now looking at this thing, it fascinates me the things that um, stay preserved and the other things that are destroyed. Like looking at the water jackets here, all the thermostat housing, everything in the water is corroded and rusted. But then we had a bit of an oil spill at the back and there was some transmission oil and that looks brand new. Same with when I pulled the radiator out, there was some um, power steering lines and they look fresh as well. So I can actually see the compliance plate now and it looks like it's a 1978. So I thought it was a 77, but it's a 1978. XC and it just fascinates me how old it is and how new that stuff was. Also, it's got aircon. I'm not sure if that's factory or not, but it's got a double fan belt going on. There's an aircon compressor. It seems pretty like futuristic for 1978. So I don't know, let me know in the comments down below if you know about these old classics, whether that aircon is factory, because I'm pretty fascinated to figure out whether that was there back in the 70s, because I don't know, I feel like it's just a bit too old for that, you know? So someone may have put it in aftermarket. But anyway, I'm gonna keep hacking off on this thing. All the hoses, a lot of the rubbish just shit. I can just use my hands and rip the thing off. So I'm just cutting everything off that I don't need. And then we get this donk out of here. Something tells me uh, this thing was a bit rusty, which means it probably would have just ended up at the wreckers. So I really get a kick out of restoring cars that may, or well, pretty much bringing a car back from the dead that may have just ended up at the wreckers. Let's be honest. Damn, that's a lot of shit from the 70s. All right, now that we've got the motor out and we've cleaned up a lot of that engine bay, it's time to do a job that I've been dreading, and that is gutting out the interior. I'm not looking forward to this. 1970, here we come. All I can say is thank God that's over. That was absolutely disgusting in there. Some of the bolts are a bit rusted as well, so I had to chop them off underneath to get the seats out. But underneath the seats, there was some dirty socks, all sorts of shit under there. So 1978, you can imagine what cars today are gonna be like in 50 years time as well. Anyway, we're looking at the back diff now. So what I wanna do is drop the rear off. So I'm gonna undo all the bolts on the leaf springs, drop the car down off the hoist and pretty much Un untake the bolts out, untake, rip the bolts out, and then essentially we can just lift the car back up again and hopefully the diff will just stay on the ground. And then we'll look at that front end and pull all that off and pretty much strip it as much as we can, ready to put on a rotisserie. Now what's a rotisserie you say? Well, you soon find out.
All right guys, so now that we've got all the suspension out of the XC, it's time to get it on the rotisserie. Now I mentioned earlier what a rotisserie is in the first place. So my friends at HAP have lent me this device here. So this is one end of the rotisserie and it's essentially a big lift for the car, but not only that, you can actually rotate the thing around, hence the word rotisserie. So I need to pretty much put these black bars onto the car, bolt it on somehow, drop it off the hoist and then get it onto this machine and we can pretty much pump up each end individually and then I can wheel the body around the workshop wherever I want, so that's pretty handy. So the front one shouldn't be too bad, like there's a couple of holes in the subframe that I'm going to bolt to, but along the back here, a bit of a different story. I thought it would be simple but not so much. So these are the mounts that actually need to go onto the body and it turns out the rear bumper is in the way. So I'm going to have to pull that bumper off which will take the tow ball off with it, which is handy because that's going to be in the way anyway. And then we'll be mounting that to there. And once it's on, I can pretty much lower it down and fingers crossed the thing doesn't flip over. It's the first time I've used one of these rotisseries. So I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty sure you need to know your centre of gravity to make sure they spin properly. So a bit of trial and error there, but hopefully it works out alright. All right, there we are, the car is on the rotisserie. Now that pretty much wraps it up for the first episode of this XC build. If you guys enjoy, please hit that subscribe button, like and share the video. Next week is super exciting. We're gonna clean this thing up, but we start focusing on what's gonna go on underneath this car. And that's right, we are building a chassis for the XC. So stay tuned for that, I'll see you in the next episode.